welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. So today we are going to take a look at the September budget and how we are halfway through the month. I'm really excited to see where this is going because this is a five paycheck month. That means that I'm already starting out with more income than I normally have, which means more ends up going to savings and more can go to fun things or things that I'm wanting to buy. So let's go ahead and take a look and see where I am halfway through the month. So first taking a look at income, we can go to week one. And as you can see, I did make more income as planned, um, which is 262.24 extra. So my total was 952.25. And for those of you that may be curious of why I never include the bonus bucks even though I've been getting it for over six months now, it's because they are a bonus from my place of work and they could stop at any time. It is a bonus, it's not something to be expected. So I never want to put it in the budget and then have it disappear. I always wanna budget for the minimum that I think I'm going to receive. And then if I get any extra, then I know that it is, I can already pay for all the things that I need to. So then we can go to week two and I got $24 back from Rakuten. Uh, that was a check. So that was $714.01. And week three, I made no extra income. It was my standard paycheck. So that means my total received so far this month has been $2,356.27. For giving, there has been a lot of gifts. As I said, September is a very busy month. Um, so for anyone that's curious why you always see Daylight Donuts, any one of my coworkers that have birthdays, um, we all take turns buying stuff and uh, like we all do something for the person and I go for donuts. So I get a dozen donuts and some sausage rolls. So. I get the same thing. I change up the donuts depending on who it is, but this is what I do. We have some other gifts, and I don't want to say who these people, who these are for, um, just because um, some of them may watch and know what they're getting. Uh, for giving, um, I haven't done anything yet. Um, I have been gone the last two weekends, so I had no church giving uh, because I was I went to other churches while I was out. Um, with other family members. And grandma payback, a lot going on here. Uh, this 3477, she actually wrote me a check to clear this balance and uh, me being the genius that I am, left it at her house and I do not wanna clear this until I actually physically have the money in my account. So even though she technically has written me the check as I did not actually get it, I'm leaving it there. And then I, when I visited my family, I had to go to run to the store and I was paid back for that. Next we go to housing. So I did go ahead and pay my parents the first part of rent. If you guys are curious to why I just said that the first part of rent, um, I live in a mobile home and I pay my rent to my parents for the house, which is very low. Uh, it just basically covers insurance and uh, then the other is my lot rent for the lot that I rent. Um, and there's a whole story of how that works um, on my channel, so you guys can go ahead and find that. Water comes at the end of the month with my rent, as does trash. Natural gas was $21.70. Electricity, we did keep it under the $200 again, and I'm really excited to say it's been cooler at night, so my air conditioner has not been running. So it was $134.89, leaving $65.11 left over, which is good because you'll see down towards the bottom that I went over in a category. Internet was $70. Household maintenance, I have already been spending, you guys. Um, I got fall candles, and I will be doing a short on that coming up or a longer video. I haven't decided which one. Um, explaining why I go to Dollar General or Dollar Tree for my candles now. And that's actually what this was. It was Dollar Tree, not Dollar General. Let me give that a correction really fast. Um, but that is what's going on there and I will explain that but um, definitely enjoying that and then I had an order on Amazon which I ordered some pillows and a few other things 
along those lines. Pet care, my dog's food is out and I have 155.86 left over there. And as I said, trash does not come out yet. Transportation, you guys, gas. We are, I believe, halfway through the month as of today. Um, and I have a little over half left in my gas. Um, I have tr been gone two of the weekends and I am going to be gone again on Sunday. So it should be interesting to see how my gas is because I have traveled somewhere every single weekend so far this month. Um, so my gas is a little higher than it normally is around this time, but I do believe that the ability to see my family and spend time with them is more than worth it. Maintenance, we have nothing, and I'm very happy about that. Um, groceries. So I have not done a big grocery shop this month. We've just had some snacks and a couple little items that I've had to pick up. There will be a larger grocery shop because tomorrow, I'm hoping to film it for you guys, um, I'm going to be completely getting every piece of food that I have and putting it in my living room to see when the expiration dates are so I can organize it and figure out what I need to stock up on and what I need to um, purchase less of and not keep as much in stock because I didn't use it and then put it all together. So it should be interesting. Then we have restaurants. Um, you can see Daylight Donuts. This is my own trip to Daylight Donuts. There's not a lot of choices in the town that I work in, and then a McDonald's, um, which was absolutely delicious. So I'm doing pretty good for halfway through the month on my eating out budget. Um, so you will see here my phone bill. I went over by 1211, and the reason for that is I opted out of insurance when I first got my phone. When I bought it, they asked me if I wanted insurance on my phone and I told them no. Um, they went ahead and signed me up for it anyway. Um, so the month that I realized I had the bill, I uh, went to the store and told them that I opted out of it and they said that I needed to cancel it myself and I told them that as I had opted out of it and they're the ones that put it on, they could take it off and they did. Um, and this month I received my bill and it was still on there. Um, so today I called and I was told that they automatically put insurance on there whether you want it or not uh, when you get the phone. Um, so for everyone that is curious, um, keep a hold of the agreement and the contract papers that you receive when you get your phone because in there, there is a clause about the insurance. And it specifically says that they can offer you insurance and it's highly recommended, but you don't have to take it. Um, so I brought that up to them and how I had now three times told them I did not want insurance and they are giving me a credit on next month's bill for all of the insurance that I have paid for. Um, but in the meantime, I had to pay this bill. Um, so that is okay. I am over this month, but be sure to keep a hold of your papers, you guys, because, and always look at the details on your bill because I'm getting a credit back for three months of paying for insurance that I have asked multiple times to not have. And it's very interesting how they will just tell you that it's required for the first month and that it's automatic. And you, if you kept the documentation, you can tell them that it's not required because at this specific service, um, it specifically states in there that it is not required. Uh, so always keep the details of your paperwork and always check the details of your bill because it can save you money. I'm going to be saving $16 a month if I had not been looking at my bill in detail I would never know that I'm being charged this $16. I would just assume that because I got a new phone, my bill had gone up, but it actually hasn't. Um, so make sure to check your details because you can save a lot of money by paying attention to your bills. Same goes for insurance. You would not believe the amount of times that I've had to have bills corrected because they did not apply the insurance correctly and my insurance shows that the bill should be several hundred dollars lower than my original bill.
So entertainment, I have, when I was away with family, I went to a candy store twice uh, in the same day. This actually should be on the 10th. Let me adjust that, sorry. Um, it was on the same day, so I bought some candy and I saw something on my way out and I ended up deciding to go back and get it. Um, and then I ordered another book. I'm trying to get less books, but this book is normally $25 and it went on Pango Books as used books and it was in brand new condition and it was for $8.16 and I've really been wanting to read it, so I'm really excited. For medical, um, I am on a probiotic, so I got that. And then I went to my chiropractor. For clothing, I did get a blazer for work so I can dress up a little bit more. Hair and beauty, I have nothing so far, but I am getting my hair done the last week of the month. Spotify and Hulu has not come out. Netflix has. My parents have not paid me, but I will be seeing them this weekend so they will pay me for that. Amazon Prime is in next month, you guys, October. Acorns Investments, $33 as normal, will be coming out. My bank is running a little slow. There was a glitch with their online system, so I was unable to confirm that those came out. So as soon as I have access to my online bank account again, I will confirm that those come have already come out and go ahead and get those entered. Um, pharmacy, $30. It's just my normal uh, $30. I'm not going to have enough to do the pharmacy for the rest of the year on my insurance benefit card. I will be adjusting that, but I want to make sure that I have enough next month for all of these charges. Insurance, we're just saving up like normal. There's nothing coming out in October. And savings, we have now... Let's see here. We have 1,377.46. Absolutely amazing. Love it. So there you guys go. That is my September budget update. It is looking fantastic and I'm so excited that I got to put more money towards my future house. As you guys can see, um, if you listened to the entire story and didn't skip ahead, the importance of checking your bills and the importance of knowing what you have a right to and what you agreed to um, because companies are not always honest. Mistakes do happen, um, but in both of these cases, um, the company was not honest, whether it be the fact that they told me insurance was required and the agreement that I signed, it said it was not, or in the case of the medical bills um, where they were just going to keep the credit and not apply it if I would have paid. Um, in both of those cases, the companies were not being honest. I'm not gonna share uh, either one of those companies um, because it there is a chance that it was just the person that I was talking to, um, but um, this seems to be happening more and more with me, so I'm not really sure. It, it's hard to think that it's just one person doing it. Um, but that being said, Make sure to check the details of your bills before and after you pay them. Make sure they're applied correctly because uh, things get applied incorrectly as well. And make sure to like and subscribe this video if you guys want to see more content from me. I am creating more content. Um, I'm still doing my main videos for you guys, but I'm also creating lots more shorts that will have little bitty clips a minute or under where I will share with you how to save money, where you can see what else I'm doing in my life, where I'm doing reviews on products. They're quick, they're fast, and they get you the core information that you need. Some of them may be clips from videos. Um, I haven't done any of that yet, but I think that if there's a super important part of my videos, I would love to make those into shorter videos so you guys can view those quickly and easily and find just those little clips. And I'm really excited to be sharing those with you guys and open other aspects of my life up to you guys such as my reading or how I'm updating my house and things like that. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!